Good morning, my dear children. Welcome back to Social Science class. Myself, Josie Joan. Today, we are going to discuss about the topic English East India Company and the Battle of Plassey. Yes, that is a part of your second lesson history from trade to territory. My dear children, how this English East India Company established the trade in Bengal or what was the main reason that helps the company to establish their trade in Bengal? There is only one reason, that is the support given by Indian rulers to English East India Company. That means Indian rulers, they granted special rights to English East India Company for their trade. Actually, the first English factory was set up at Surat in 1608. But they established the factory at Bengal in 1651 on the banks of the river Hooghly. That was the base of their trade. The English traders called factories, they operated their trade from that factory. At the same time, English East India Company established different types of offices for their officials and they construct one warehouse. Children, you know what is the meaning of the word warehouse? Warehouse means that it was a building that's only for to kept goods for export. As a part of the expansion of trade, company persuaded the merchants and traders to come and settle near the factory. Yes, company started the construction of fort around the factory in 1696. Indian rulers granted another special right that is Semindari right to English East India Company. Semindari right means that it was a right to collect tax. Company uses a right to collect tax from three villages, especially from Calcutta. Another important reason, the famous uh, Mughal ruler Aurangzeb, he issued one Farman. Farman means that was a royal order that granted the right to trade duty free. But the officials, those who were engaged in private trade, were expected to pay tax. But they never give that tax to the company. That create big loss of revenue in Bengal. After the death of Aurangzeb, there we can see the decline of Mughal Empire. There arose new form of political administration under the leadership of Nawabs. For example, Murshid Khuli Khan, Alivardi Khan, Sirajud Dawla, etc. What is the speciality of these rulers? They never follow the concessions already given by the former rulers. That means they never give their right to trade and at the same time right to trade duty free, right to mint coins, etc. Company realize one fact. These restrictions put forward by Indian rulers will ruin the company's trade. So there started clash between English East India Company and the Nawabs of Bengal. That clash entered in the famous battle, Battle of Plassey. Yes, children, our next topic is the Battle of Plassey that took place in 1757. That was a clash between English East India Company and the Nawabs of Bengal. What was the main reason of this Battle of Plassey? That is the clash between English East India Company and the Nawab. Actually, this English East India Company, they were worried about this power of Sirajud Dawla. He was the Nawab of Bengal. That time, they used one new technique. That is, they decided to help his commander-in-chief, Mir Jafar, to become the Nawab of Bengal. That time, Sirajud Dawla asked the company to stop fortification and to pay tax. But that order was totally a failure. So, Sirajud Dawla decided to capture the warehouse of company and at the same time he decided to block the trade and he conducted a march to Calcutta to capture Calcutta from the hands of English East India Company. That time, English East India Company heard about that news. So, they sent one famous army under the leadership of Robert Clive. But in that battle, so there started that battle between English East India Company under the leadership of Robert Clive and other side Indian army under the leadership of Sirajud Dawla. In that battle, Indian army was defeated by English army. What was the main reason behind that failure? Because in that battle, Sirajud Dawla's Commander-in-Chief Mir Jafar never fought in the battle. 
because before that battle company promised that if he give his help to company they will make him the nawab of bengal yes the battle of plassey laid the foundation of british administration in our country that was the first victory of british over our country we are going to discuss about the remaining portions of that same lesson battle of bexar and different strategies adopted by english east india company as a part of the expansion of power yes our first topic is battle of bexar bexar was a fortified town a small fortified town in bihar battle of bexar took place in 1764 bexar was a small fortified town in bihar Battle of Bexar was a battle between English East India Company and the Indian Nawabs. One side English East India Company headed by Hector Munro and the other side Indian Army that was a combined forces of Nawab of Bengal, Nawab of Awadh and the Mughal Emperor. My dear children, what was the main reason of this Battle of Bexar? There is two reasons. First one, expansion of trade by English East India Company. second one second one misuse of farmar by english east india company yes in that battle indian army was defeated by english east india company children how this english east india company expanded their power they used different methods first one they used diwani right second one through direct attack then third one by using different strategies fourth one different types of administrative policies first one diwani right the use of diwani right after the battle of bexa mughal emperor granted diwani right to english east india company diwani right means that was a right to collect tax from indian territories they use this english east india company they use that revenue only for their trade purpose then second one direct attack after the battle of maratha anglo maratha war this english east india company they defeated maratha rulers and they annexed their region with their own empire with their own territory then third one they introduced different types of strategies first one subsidiary alliance that was introduced by lord wellesley according to this system each indian ruler had to maintain a british army that means they have no right to maintain their own army but they had to pay subsidy for the maintaining of that british army those indian rulers they were failed to pay that subsidy their regions their territories were annexed by english east india company for example by using this uh, system they annex the regions of awadh bengal and some regions of mysore 